Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ashland Leather and it's a twofer this week. I've got another batch of made to order wallets. These are custom ordered wallets that we're shipping out today. Before we get to that, I wanted to show you some brand new prototypes. These are actually finished up today by Lupe here in our shop. And I thought they were so interesting. I was really excited to show you this. I have four different versions of this prototype and this is the vertical Frank the Enforcer. It's just like our normal Frank the Enforcer design but we've got a couple card slots coming in from a different orientation than what we normally do on the Frank the Enforcer. The first one here is Amaretto Shell Cordovan. So we have this larger slot in the top here that's the normal size of our Frank the Enforcer, just in case you're familiar with that design. This will fit US dollars folded in half as well as regular credit cards. We also have this little hidden card slot underneath the stack of two vertical card slots here. On the back of this particular one, again, an Amaretto Shell Cordovan. There's nothing on the back like our normal Frank the Enforcer. Here's another one that I like very much. This is raw denim shell Cordovan. Same idea here with that large card slot in the top. This one has some hand-stained blue edges. We've got the hidden card slot, of course. I should mention before we get any farther that I'm gonna put all these up for an auction again. And I wanted to give a brief summary of what happened on the auction for Halloween private stock. It was our first time trying out an auction with some new software. So we're still sort of learning uh, the ropes on the auctions here. I think I've got it figured out for this round. All four of the items that we're looking at right here, all these prototypes are gonna be going up for auction over the weekend. The next one here, this is Cigar Shell Cordovan on that prototype. The big difference on this particular one is we have a card slot on the back in addition to the two on the front, the hidden card slot underneath, the larger card slot on the top. This one also has hand stained cigar edges. And the last one to show you here, this one turned out great. This is Violet Shell Cordovan on this prototype Frank the Enforcer. We also have that additional card slot on the back with hand stained violet edges. All right, let's get back to some more made to order custom wallets. The first one here is an incredible piece of Garnet Shell Cordovan with the Western texture. And this is a tall Herbie. So you'll notice the bill slot on the outside here it goes all the way up to the top or on our normal fat Herbie. There's a little bit of a thumb notch that's much lower. What I like most about the tall Herbies is you get this incredibly large context of leather because it's such a large pattern piece. We get to see all the different interesting aspects of this Western texture. And then the garnet shell. This is the most red shell cordovan color that Horween makes. The other thing I love about the tall version of both the tall Herbie as well as the tall Tony the Ant is we get this really flush interior. We're able to flip this middle piece around so you're able to see all shell cordovan all through the inside of the wallet as well as on the outside. I've been reading the comments on the last video I put up earlier this week. Some people weren't aware of some of the options that we're doing so I'm gonna make a little bit of an extra effort to do more of these videos showing off some of the custom options that we do. There's a lot of stuff that we do and it changes all the time so it can get a little bit confusing. So sorry for any frustration there. We've got a couple more pieces in the Western Garnet Shell Cordovan. We have a vault key holder here as well as our Lexington key holder. The Lexington key case is our older key case that has a single screw post to hold keys off the top where the vault key holder has two screw posts so you can put three on each side. And here's an option that some people were not aware of. This is the Bugs Moran wallet and we have this additional quick access card holder on the outside of the wallet. You'll notice that this is Black Shell Cordovan with reverse black shell cordovan for that additional card holder on the outside of the Bugs Moran. Really nice piece of black shell cordovan here. And I do know that it's very confusing that this green piece of leather is called reverse black. There's a good range of color in the reverse sides of the black shell cordovan. It can get a little bit dark green, a little bit more forest green. Sometimes it's a little bit lighter and tan. And here's a good example of what I'm talking about. On the inside of this Bugs Moran, we have a combination of the two different card holder variants that we do. On the left, you can see the vertical card slots with the hidden card slot underneath. And then we have our traditional card holders on the right with some really nice die splatter. And I have another Bugs Moran to show you. Also in black shell cordovan, there's no additional card holder for the quick access on the outside of this one. This one has been perfect personalized with FDC on the front. And here's a look at the inside of this Bugs Moran where we have all vertical card holders and they turned out really nice with that Horween ink stamp right in the center. So speaking of things that we don't normally offer, this is a design called the JR Fold Wallet in my favorite Shell Cordovan color. This is the Amaretto Shell Cordovan. This JR Fold Wallet was designed by the third generation owner of the tannery, Arnold Horween Jr. He actually cut a shape of leather that was similar to this and it folded over as you're seeing here. And his idea was to put his cash inside the slot here as well as cards 
in, underneath the flap. And the idea behind this minimalist design was that because it's made in a vegetable tan leather, this will mold and conform to everything inside. So it's as minimalist as it gets. When you wear this one, this leather folded over all your cards and cash, mold perfectly to everything inside and just a really nice minimal form factor. Now, one last thing I wanted to mention about this one, this is a hand stitching on the bottom which is not uh, what we normally offer. So it's a little bit of an upgrade. Now let's go back to this prototype, Frank the Enforcer. Here's what we have with the vertical Frank the Enforcer. This is our standard Frank the Enforcer here, where you can see we have the larger card opening in the center that will hold US dollars folded in half. Then we have the card slots underneath. This is a really nice looking piece made in cobalt blue Dublin on top of 1940s blonde calfskin. This is some dead stock leather that Horween has been sitting on since 1941. And it's a really nice leather. It's a little bit thinner than most leather, which is why it's great for the Frank the Enforcer design here. Let's have a look at the back where this one has been personalized with JF on top of that 1940s calf. And I have a few Apple watch bands to show you. The first one here is made in natural horse butt and this is the veg tan strips from the horse butt that was tanned alongside the shell cordovan really nice thick dense leather here is a really good option for an apple watch band and you'll notice this is an unlined strap and because it's vegetable tan this will mold around your wrist just like that jr fold wallet and it will become very very comfortable i'm actually wearing a horse butt chrome excel here this is the work shoe butt and i've noticed this strap is very comfortable also here's another piece in a similar shade on the apple watch band this is natural shell cordovan this time you'll notice the bright shiny luster on the shell cordovan is much different than that horse butt strip so take a look closely at the horse butt strip on the left here. You'll see it does have a nice bright sheen to it, but there's much more texture in the horse butt that are the strips that are not the shell. And that's a little bit confusing, but the shell cordovan is just a very specific dense membrane that's found in the hind quarter of every equine animal. So they have to dig down and scrape down to get to this dense fiber layer. This piece of horse butt here, this is still with the grain intact. And I have one more Apple watch band to show you. This is color number four shell cordovan, also an unlined strap. And here's a really fun watch band. This is our two piece watch strap. And originally this was a 22 millimeter watch strap. We're able to fine tune the lug width just a little bit by one millimeter. So this one actually has been sanded down to fit a 21 millimeter lug width. This is made in some very nice psychedelic shell cordovan. It's a little bit purple and green looking. And we also have this hand whip stitch across the top and bottom of the strap. I have two more textured pieces of shell cordovan. This is the Gator Amaretto shell cordovan on our key fob. And I also have another one to match that tall Herbie we were looking at earlier with the Western Garnet shell cordovan. And here's a really interesting Bugs Moran. This is green shell cordovan. And it's a little bit on the darker side from our green shell cordovan. Sometimes we also have a different color green that's called emerald, which is a little bit lighter. This piece of green is very nice. It's a very deep green shade, almost like a forest green. We also have matching thread as well as green hand stained edges for this Bugs Moran. On the inside, this is a really clean look where we have reverse black shell cordovan that matches that reverse green very nicely. So it gives it a really clean interior. And here's one step up from the Bugs Moran or one step down from the Fat Herbie, depending on how you look at it. This is the Tony the Ant design. You'll notice as I lay a Bugs Moran over the top of it that the Tony the Ant is slightly wider. You'll see a little bit longer and we made that one slightly bigger to accommodate cash inside the bill slot just a little bit more easily. You'll also notice we do a good job cutting the Horween Shell Cordovan ink stamp into nice visible spots. Really nice piece of Shell Cordovan here. Here's a look at the inside where we have reverse Shell Cordovan on the left with the Horween ink stamp as well as whiskey plus reverse on the second card holder here and whiskey Shell Cordovan in the center. Two more wallets to look at. Another piece here in Western whiskey shell cordovan that's my favorite tongue twister of the week again on the tall herbie really beautiful shade of the whiskey shell cordovan when you compare this to the natural shell cordovan you'll notice that whiskey is a little bit darker and it has much more golden tones to it a little bit more yellow i actually have that natural shell cordovan piece that we're looking at earlier pretty similar color but you'll notice that the western whiskey here a little bit more golden a little bit more yellow here's a look at the inside of this one we have that completely clean interior with all western whiskey whiskey shell cordovan and let's take a peek in the bill slot here 
I like to see sometimes the reverse side of that Western texture. And the last custom wallet that we're gonna look at today, I was trying to save the craziest one for the end here. This is the Skip Finish Shell Cordovan. I think this might be the last of what we have. I know originally we did not have much of this leather at all. We made a couple private stock items out of it. People seem to really enjoy this finished look. So they've ordered some made to order wallets out of that really cool Skip Finish. I'm not sure how to describe it, but it's got a really interesting depth to it. It's almost like a texture depth because I think he's layered on different stain coats and different colors that create this sort of like 3D effect in the texture and especially in something like Shell Corvin what's really bright and shiny really makes that textured look uh, very striking. So here's a look at that again really cool piece of the uh, skip finish Shell Corvin here. Here's a look at the inside we have some hidden card slots on this one. This is reverse color eight shell cordovan underneath the skip finish shells on both sides, as well as the Horween shell cordovan stamp on the inside. Some people ask if these hidden slots are stitched down. We, by default, will leave them not stitched to the bottom. So you get a big, large opening like this, but we can also stitch it down so you get four card slots on each side. So thanks for checking out everything in the video today. If you're curious about this prototype, Frank the Enforcer, like I am. These will be going up on the site. By the time you see this video, you'll be able to bid on these. I'm gonna start off a pretty low bid, just be curious to see if people are interested in, in this design. And in fact, if you're seeing this video right now, tell me what you think of this one. I think this is a really unique look on a wallet. I don't think I've seen one just like this. And I think just the two different orientations of the cards might make this a really ideal choice for a lot of people. So thanks for checking it out. If you have any questions, definitely let me know. Until next time, hope you have a good one. Thank you.